Hey, what is up guys? My name is Juno 86 and today I'm going to show you how to tame a spider on Arc Survival Evolved. First I'm going to start with the uh, saddle requirements. If you go to level 40, you will see that the spider saddle is right here. Erania. It requires 100 chitin slash keratin, 140 fiber, and 260 hide. Shouldn't really be too hard to get. So, this tutorial is going to show you how to tame one with no bug repellent or no uh, ghillie suit. So, first thing you need is a trap, and it can be out of wood. I do not suggest thatch. There's no point in building out of metal either. So, you start with found, uh, the foundation. We'll build it right here. One, two, three, four. And you have to build it too high. Simple as that. Spider will go in there and it will be tamed. Usually these motherfuckers are located uh, in caves. However, the best place to find them is at the volcano on Ragnarok. There are a ton of them and you can easily pick them up, which you will need to do to tame them. So, first thing you need is an RG as well. So let's spawn an RG. Level one will do. And we also need some spoiled meat. This spider, uh, or this creature, doesn't take um, kibble, which is really unfortunate, but it is still tameable. You will need around, you don't even need that much spoiled meat, but I am spawning it anyway. On my server it is uh, boosted, however, uh, on a fish you shouldn't really take that long to tame one. So, you just need an RG. What I'm going to do is take off GCM. And I'm out of weight. Let me just level up weight for a second. Great. So, our quest to find a spider is on. You can pick him up with a wyvern as well. And anything bigger than an RG. However, it is going to be... Um, really difficult to land in a trap so the RG is your best bet to tame a spider with so it does look like we actually found the spider what level is this? I think it's a 130 definitely fit into the trap sometimes it's actually really hard to land it as you can see however we landed it the first time so when you when it gets in you're gonna have to get away from him a little bit, quite quite a little far, you know, not too far though. And he should lose aggro. So since this is a 140 spider, on official server it will take around five, five, something like that, spoiled meat. However, this is a boosted server and it will eat it at once. Okay, so yeah, and you also need to be level 40 to tame it, which is a little bit awkward. But let's level up to level 40 very quickly. I didn't actually know that. So we'll level something random. And there we go. It says feed spoiled meat to 10. And we just got ourselves a spider. Come on. So these guys don't have the best stats. However,. I found a good reason to tame them, finally, and yeah, so let's get a saddle for them right now. We are in creative mode. Okay, so we got ourselves a spider, 194, I'll show you guys the stats overall. This was a, I don't know what level, I think this is 130 tame, so not that much HP, nothing too fancy. However, I find a good reason to tame them. They're, they're pretty useless among the community, but 
I'm trying to kind of bring their uh, the name back and see if I can make it relevant again somewhat. But uh, yeah, so usually you want to pump the spiders with stamina, weight, and health. I will explain to you why. So the melee on this one is 364. So let's spawn something like a 36 damage, as you saw. If you level up once, you should, the melee should still be the same. Or it will literally go one by one. So it's honestly really, really useless leveling up melee on a spider. They will only go up like by one and maybe not even once. So really, really useless level up melee on the spider. So just do not level up melee on it. It, it really is useless. You can trust me on that. But anyways, usually you should level up a lot of stamina though. If you're going to tame a 150, try and reach 1,500 stamina. But I'm going to try and reach 2,000. And you sh your weight should be around 400 weight. And the rest, you can pump it to health. You should level up stamina first, then weight, and then health. Okay, that's the order you need to do, and that's the best thing you can do with one of these motherfuckers. So, what are they used for, you might ask? These guys may seem quite big, however, they can actually fit in really, really tight spots. So, let's get a door frame. These guys can actually fit through the door. I will show you now. As you can see and the reason why this is so good is because this is perfect for the caves absolutely perfect now one thing that you need to watch out for let's spawn a bat because the spider will be able to slow it down the reason why and you the reason why you want to bring your spider into a cave is so you can slow down the enemies and they won't be able to do anything but this is only really, really good with teammates. Let's get the RG to attack it, and the bat won't even be able to catch up to it. If your teammate has a shotgun behind you, and while you shoot the webs at the target that you're trying to hit, the target that you are hitting will not, and I guarantee you, will not reach your friend. That's actual facts because I've been doing the cave with my friend so yeah spiders can be useful somewhat and these guys will do poison uh, damage they will put you to sleep however it's not really that big of a poison um, needs a few bites to actually put it to sleep but still and uh, they're not even that fast either but I will start a new a series where I just go through caves with my friend and most some of the caves they will include a spider that we are going to bring and the first cave that we're starting with is the artifact of the clever and these guys um, normally you should feed it spoiled meat so it literally just goes up really fast when you feed it. And it shouldn't be too hard to uh, feed it because its food is quite low. So, there's some positives and negatives. The negative is that it obviously can't catch up to enemies unless they're webbed. So usually if you want to attack an enemy, you want to web them first and then go for the poison. Still though, not really that reliable. Spiders can also be used and I use them personally because I love them and I want to make them a bit more useful than normally so I actually put these guys inside the base so they won't so the enemies when they get inside they will have to literally get poisoned and webbed by a spider because as I said spiders can really go through door frames I don't know how it's possible but they can so they can definitely fit inside your base and once you have a couple of them, your enemies will be good as dead. 
along with a few creatures that I'm gonna also tame. So yeah, this is basically the spider. Um, not really that useful, they don't have a gender either so you can't really breed them. Um, I just wish the devs actually made a little bit of work into this. I like the, like, what's it called? I like the model. The model looks absolutely fine. But I just want them to kind of at least like buff their stats a little bit. Maybe. Or make them, or make the passive tame a little bit easier. I don't know. Because I'm official, it's a little bit of a pain. You literally need to go around this trap and it's just, it's just not worth it. For something like this. However, as I said, they can be used in caves. If you don't have a cryopod, they will fit, be able to fit through most tight gaps. So yeah. Anyways, hopefully this was useful. Uh, pretty long video, but hopefully you found it useful. And uh, this has been the spider tutorial. Next video will be the start of the series. Goodbye.